Imagine buying a chocolate bar, a cotton t-shirt, or a cup of tea. Have you ever thought about where these products come from and how they affect the environment? Every time Canada trades, imports, or uses natural resources, there are environmental impacts. Some good, some bad. Canada's interactions with the world have helped support conservation efforts, but they've also led to challenges like pollution, habitat destruction, and climate change. One way Canada helps the environment globally is by supporting reforestation projects. Canada is part of the United Nations Environment Program, which works to plant trees in Africa and other regions to fight climate change. These trees reduce carbon dioxide, protect wildlife, and stop desertification, the process where land becomes too dry to support life. By helping plant trees, Canada contributes to making the world greener. However, not all global interactions help the environment. International trade and transportation can cause pollution and introduce invasive species. One example is the Great Lakes, which connect Canada and the United States. Ships traveling from other countries have brought invasive species, like the zebra mussel, which spread rapidly and harm native fish populations. These species disrupt the ecosystem, making it harder for local fish and plants to survive. Another environmental impact comes from over-farming in other countries due to global demand for cheap cotton, sugar, cocoa, and tea. Many of these products are grown in Africa, South America, and Asia, where forests are sometimes cut down to make space for large farms. This leads to deforestation, soil erosion, and loss of wildlife habitats. Since Canada imports these products, it plays a role in their environmental impact. Mining is another industry where Canada's global interactions affect the environment. Canadian mining companies operate in other countries, extracting gold, copper, and other minerals. While mining provides jobs and resources, it can also cause pollution, deforestation, and destruction of indigenous lands. This has led to protests from communities that want better environmental protections. While Canada benefits from trade and economic growth, it also has a responsibility to reduce its environmental footprint. The country is working on sustainable practices, cleaner energy, and conservation programs to lessen its impact on the planet. The next time you buy a product from another country, think about how it got there, what resources were used, and how Canada's connection to the world affects the environment both positively and negatively.